Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about transmitter power. In the radar range equation R max, the standard maximum radar range equation R max is equal to without any modifications I am taking the basic standard notation Pt G sigma AE by 4 pi square S min whole power 1 by 4. <coughs> so in this maximum radar range equation, so PT stands for transmitter power. What is the amount of transmitted power we have transmitted towards the object to identify the presence of object. So PT here determines the transmitter power. Transmitter power. Transmitter power is generally in the order of kilowatts to megawatts. Transmitter power is generally in the order of kilowatts to megawatts. Now, we have changed these parameters and studied individually. So, yes, mean we have studied the minimum detectable signal in the previous videos and the sigma we have studied which is nothing but radar cross section of the target and yes mean we have written in terms of noise and thereby signal to noise ratio noise figure and we have even added the integration of number of pulses so that it has become somewhat accurate compared to the standard notation or max now this time we are going to study completely about the peak power peak power is nothing but transmitter power here we are mentioning the peak power Peak power may not be constant always and it may be affected by the lot of fluctuations. So peak power may vary but average power may not vary. So that's why it is better to convert the peak power into average power which is indicated by P average which is indicated by P average. So it is better to consider P average instead of PT. Okay, so we should know what is the relation between P average and PT. Okay, if we know this relation, then we can substitute this PT, uh, P average in terms of PT in this standard notation. Because the PT is more affected by the noise, the peak power may be affected by the noise or it may decrease after going to the long distance. So, it is always better to move to the average power. Okay, so before going into the relation between the average power and peak power, let us see what is what from the waveform. So, the transmitter power we are studying about now here. So, this is the peak power from here to here. This is the peak power indicated by PT. Okay, and the width of this pulse is transmitted pulse is nothing but tau. Tau is nothing but width, width of the transmitted pulse or you can also say it is nothing but on period. You can also say it is on period and from this point to this point it is complete time period T. It is complete time period T or we can simply write it as TP. Okay, notations are maybe different but you can use the common notation like TP or FP like that. Okay, now what is the relation between this transmitter power and average power is? The average power is equal to peak power multiplied by duty cycle. Peak power multiplied by duty cycle. So, average power P average, you can write it like this also. P average is equal to P peak power, which is nothing but PT multiplied by duty cycle. What is the duty cycle formula? T on by T on plus T of T on plus T of is nothing but a total time period. So total time period from this waveform it is TPR. We can even represent T. So P average into T on. On period is nothing but pulse width which is indicated by tau by T or TP. This is the relation between this P sorry sorry this is PT. This is the relation between this P average and this transmitter power PT. This is fine. Now, how this waveform, how this equation will change the overall maximum radar range equation. Okay. Now, let us consider the maximum radar range equation which has been changed. Now, the standard notation is PT G 
sigma a e by 4 pi square s yes mean whole power 1 by 4. This is what we know in the standard notation. After the addition of this minimum detectable signal in terms of signal to noise ratio and after the integration of radar pulses, this equation now converted into Pt g sigma a e by 4 pi square. So now it is k t naught b n f n k t naught b n f n signal to noise ratio of one pulse if you are taking one pulse it have it has to be converted into efficiency terms whole power 1 by 4 this is the latest equation we have calculated in the case of uh, integration of radar pulses so hope you know integration of radar pulses i have explained in the previous video if you have any doubt you can go back and uh, see the previous video integration of radar pulses so we have received n number of pulses when we are transmitting a pulse towards the object so we need to integrate all the pulses after receiving so this integration can be done before or after detection second detection nothing but a pre, de pre detection integration or post detection integration so because of that the signal to noise ratio of n number of pulses are getting added up or summing up okay so later i have converted it into efficiency terms and the maximum radar equation now it is available in terms of signal to noise ratio for n number of signal to noise ratio for n number of pulses which are integrated okay so this is okay now how this transmitter power can be added and uh, transmitter power can be converted into average we know the relation between average power and peak power is p average is equal to pt into tau by t or simply tp so from this we can write what is pt pt is equal to tp p average by tau okay or you can even write it as p average by tau fp okay since tp is nothing but 1 by fp okay pulse repetition frequency fp is nothing but pulse repetition frequency pulse repetition frequency okay now substitute this pt in this equation or max okay every time i am taking the latest equation which has been changed so that the equation is more customized into our requirement so that it, the resultant value will be accurate okay so pt is equal to p average so p average g sigma a e n e i of n divided by 4 pi square k t naught b n f n signal to noise ratio of 1 pulse now p average by tau f p tau f p okay what is the meaning of this b n b n is nothing but what is this b n noise bandwidth noise bandwidth of whose bandwidth it is if amplifier okay if amplifier is the only amplifier that allows or stops the signals which are entering into the receiver and what do you mean by this tau tau is nothing but pulse width pulse width of whose transmitted pulse transmitted pulse okay we can say tau is nothing but tau is nothing but related to related to understand clearly tau is nothing but related to transmitted pulse transmitted pulse which is in time domain 
nothing but which is in time because tau indicates time whereas bn is related to receiver received uh, how we can say received if amplifier bandwidth okay receiver is nothing but if amplifier in frequency okay tau is nothing but it says what is the amount of what is the amount of on period in the transmitted signal bn is nothing but it decides what is the amount of signal that it allows into the receiver okay so if we write if you draw the equations this is the pulse width tau and this is the narrow pass band that is allowed through the if amplifier which is nothing but bandwidth is nothing but bn this width is nothing but tau both are quite opposite to each other so we can say tau is inversely proportional to noise bandwidth tau is inversely proportional to noise bandwidth or noise bandwidth is inversely proportional to 1 by tau okay so we are choosing the noise bandwidth uh, in such a way that it is approximately equal to 1 by tau approximately equal to 1 by tau so how we can write tau into bn is approximately equal to 1 tau into bn is approximately equal to 1 so both are quite opposite to each other and we are choosing since we are choosing bn as 1 by tau okay now coming to this uh, equation how it is changing now see the denominator part in the denominator part we have bn we have bn and as well as tau so the product of this these two can become one so you can write these two separately so therefore r max is equal to p average g sigma a e n e i of n divided by 4 pi whole square k t naught b n into tau b n into tau if this product becomes 1 there is nothing here b n into tau f n s by n of 1 into f p ok so this is the R max equation which can be changed. Now in terms of energy also we can write energy per repetition, energy per repetition in terms of energy, energy per one cycle, energy per one cycle. So energy per cycle that is E t is equal to p average by fp energy is equal to pt power into time so here power is nothing but average power into time t is nothing but uh, pulse repetition period or you can write it as 1 by fp so p average by fp see this p average by fp here p average is there and fp is also there so if you uh, uh, if you rewrite this p average by fp in terms of energy then simply the maximum radar range equation in terms of energy it will be et g sigma a e n e i of n by 4 pi square k t naught b n into tau f n s by n 1 s by n 1 because this p average of p it can be written in terms of et energy per cycle energy per cycle whole power 1 by 4 is there or you can simply write 4 here or you can simply write 4 here okay and the same can be written in terms of total energy the same can be written in terms of total energy for n number of cycles you can write in total energy like uh, if you change this n into et see this what is et what is et energy per cycle for one cycle 
what is n for n number of cycles so if you multiply this n into et these two then you can convert this into n into et is nothing but n into et is nothing but total energy of all the cycles total energy of all the cycles so e t g sigma a e efficiency by 4 pi square k t naught b n tau f n signal to noise ratio of one cycle okay you can also write like this so what is et where et is total energy for n number of cycles n number of cycles okay so this is what the transmitter power concept which can re uh, rearrange the maximum radar range equation in terms of energy so that uh, in terms of uh, average power also we have written so that uh, peak power may vary but the average power of the cycle which, which cannot vary so the signal r max can be stabilized even after the calculations even after the received signal parameters has been added thank you